One. Listen and practice. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Most people in my country travel by car. How do you go to school or work? I prefer bus due to its convenience. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. How often do you take buses? Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago. And the bus is still my best choice. Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Not really. They have their own cars. What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Public transport is much cheaper. Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. How has transportation changed recently? There are more cars in a household now than before, which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. Listen and practice. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? What is the most popular means of transport in your country? What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Most people in my country travel by car. Most people in my country travel by car. Most people in my country travel by car. How do you go to school or work? How do you go to school or work? How do you go to school or work? I prefer bus due to its convenience. I prefer bus due to its convenience. I prefer bus due to its convenience. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. How often do you take buses? How often do you take buses? How often do you take buses? Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago. Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago. Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago. And the bus is still my best choice.
And the bus is still my best choice. And the bus is still my best choice. Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Not really. They have their own cars. Not really. They have their own cars. Not really. They have their own cars. What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Public transport is much cheaper. Public transport is much cheaper. Public transport is much cheaper. Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport.
It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. How has transportation changed recently? How has transportation changed recently? How has transportation changed recently? There are more cars in a household now than before, which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. There are more cars in a household now than before. Which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. There are more cars in a household now than before, which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. Listen and practice. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Most people in my country travel by car. How do you go to school or work? I prefer bus due to its convenience. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. How often do you take buses? Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago, and the bus is still my best choice. Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Not really. They have their own cars. What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Public transport is much cheaper. Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. How has transportation changed recently? There are more cars in a household now than before, which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. Two. Listen and practice. What health problem did you have? I had measles when I was eighteen. How did you have that health problem? I thought I catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. Was that serious? Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after ten days staying at home. What were some symptoms of that health problem? I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. The small grayish white spots appeared on my body too. Did you take any medical treatment? No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital. Then, how could you recover from it? Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for ten days. What difficulties did you face because of that problem? I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I'm not allowed to play outside, and I felt so bad about it. What do people do to prevent that health problem? By having measles vaccine. Is that health problem common in your country? 
not really due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Listen and practice. What health problem did you have? What health problem did you have? What health problem did you have? I had measles when I was 18. I had measles when I was 18. I had measles when I was 18. 2. How did you have that health problem? How did you have that health problem? How did you have that health problem? I thought I catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. I thought I catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. I thought I catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. Three. Was that serious? Was that serious? Was that serious? Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. Four. What were some symptoms of that health problem? What were some symptoms of that health problem? What were some symptoms of that health problem? I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. The small grayish white spots appeared on my body too.
The small grayish white spots appeared on my body too. The small grayish white spots appeared on my body too. 5. Did you take any medical treatment? Did you take any medical treatment? Did you take any medical treatment? No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. Six. How could you recover from it? How could you recover from it? How could you recover from it? Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. Seven. What difficulties did you face because of that problem? What difficulties did you face because of that problem? What difficulties did you face because of that problem? I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I'm not allowed to play outside and I felt so bad about it. I'm not allowed to play outside and I felt so bad about it. I'm not allowed to play outside and I felt so bad about it. Eight. 
What do people do to prevent that health problem? What do people do to prevent that health problem? What do people do to prevent that health problem? By having measles vaccine. By having measles vaccine. By having measles vaccine. Is that health problem common in your country? Is that health problem common in your country? Is that health problem common in your country? Not really due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Not really due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Not really due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Listen. And practice. What health problem did you have? I had measles when I was 18. How did you have that health problem? I thought I'd catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. Was that serious? Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. What were some symptoms of that health problem? I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. The small grayish-white spots appeared on my body, too. Did you take any medical treatment? No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. How could you recover from it? Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. What difficulties did you face because of that problem? I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I'm not allowed to play outside, and I felt so bad about it. What do people do to prevent that health problem? By having measles vaccine. Is that health problem common in your country? Not really due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Listen and practice. What health problem did you have? I had measles when I was 18. How did you have that health problem? I thought I'd catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. Was that serious? Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. What were some symptoms of that health problem? I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. The small grayish-white spots appeared on my body, too. Did you take any medical treatment? No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. How could you recover from it? Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. What difficulties did you face because of that problem? I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I'm not allowed to play outside, and I felt so bad about it. What do people do to prevent that health problem? By having measles vaccine. Is that health problem common in your country? 
not really due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Listen and practice. What health problem did you have? What health problem did you have? What health problem did you have? I had measles when I was 18. I had measles when I was 18. I had measles when I was 18. Two. How did you have that health problem? How did you have that health problem? How did you have that health problem? I thought I'd catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. I thought I'd catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. I thought I'd catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. Three. Was that serious? Was that serious? Was that serious? Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. Four. What were some symptoms of that health problem? What were some symptoms of that health problem? What were some symptoms of that health problem? I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. The small grayish white spots appeared on my body too.
The small grayish white spots appeared on my body too. The small grayish white spots appeared on my body too. 5. Did you take any medical treatment? Did you take any medical treatment? Did you take any medical treatment? No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. Six. How could you recover from it? How could you recover from it? How could you recover from it? Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. Seven. What difficulties did you face because of that problem? What difficulties did you face because of that problem? What difficulties did you face because of that problem? I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I'm not allowed to play outside and I felt so bad about it. I'm not allowed to play outside and I felt so bad about it. I'm not allowed to play outside and I felt so bad about it. Eight. 
What do people do to prevent that health problem? What do people do to prevent that health problem? What do people do to prevent that health problem? By having measles vaccine. By having measles vaccine. By having measles vaccine. Is that health problem common in your country? Is that health problem common in your country? Is that health problem common in your country? Not really due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Not really due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Not really due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Listen. And practice. What health problem did you have? I had measles when I was 18. How did you have that health problem? I thought I'd catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. Was that serious? Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. What were some symptoms of that health problem? I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. The small grayish-white spots appeared on my body, too. Did you take any medical treatment? No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. How could you recover from it? Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. What difficulties did you face because of that problem? I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I'm not allowed to play outside, and I felt so bad about it. What do people do to prevent that health problem? By having measles vaccine. Is that health problem common in your country? Not really due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Three. Listen and practice. What is your favorite item of clothing? My favorite one is a maxi dress. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. When did you buy it? My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21. Where did you buy it? I had no idea where my close friend bought it. What color is it? It's blue, my favorite color. Was it expensive? Yes, I guessed. Why do you like it? Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly. But that one does. I also love the color and style. Do clothes help to build your personal brand? Yes, I agree with it to some extent. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Yes, I have, but I don't think any fashion style is weird. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. How has your fashion style changed recently? 
I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago, but now I change into casuals like jeans and t-shirt. Listen and practice. What is your favorite item of clothing? What is your favorite item of clothing? What is your favorite item of clothing? My favorite one is a maxi dress. My favorite one is a maxi dress. My favorite one is a maxi dress. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. When did you buy it? When did you buy it? When did you buy it? My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21. My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21. My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21. Where did you buy it? Where did you buy it? Where did you buy it? I had no idea where my close friend bought it. I had no idea where my close friend bought it. I had no idea where my close friend bought it. What color is it? What color is it? What color is it? It's blue, my favorite color. It's blue, my favorite color. It's blue, my favorite color. Was it expensive? Was it expensive? Was it expensive? Yes, I guessed. Yes, I guessed. Yes, I guessed. Why do you like it? Why do you like it? Why do you like it? Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly. But that one does. Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly. But that one does. Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly. But that one does. I also love the color and style. I also love the color and style. I also love the color and style. Do clothes help to build your personal brand? Do clothes help to build your personal brand? Do clothes help to build your personal brand? Yes, I agree with it to some extent. Yes, 
I agree with it to some extent. Yes, I agree with it to some extent. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Yes, I have, but I don't think any fashion style is weird. Yes, I have, but I don't think any fashion style is weird. Yes, I have, but I don't think any fashion style is weird. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. How has your fashion style changed recently? How has your fashion style changed recently? How has your fashion style changed recently? I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago. I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago. I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago. But now I change into casuals like jeans and t-shirt. But now I change into casuals like jeans and t-shirt. But now I change into casuals like jeans and t-shirt. Listen and practice. What is your favorite item of clothing? My favorite one is a maxi dress. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. When did you buy it? My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21. Where did you buy it? I had no idea where my close friend bought it. What color is it? It's blue, my favorite color. Was it expensive? Yes, I guessed. Why do you like it? Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly. But that one does. I also love the color and style. Do clothes help to build your personal brand? Yes, I agree with it to some extent. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. 
Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Yes, I have. But I don't think any fashion style is weird. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. How has your fashion style changed recently? I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago. But now I change into casuals like jeans and t shirt. Four. Listen and practice. Hey, Ken. Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? We were all expecting to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. Really? But I gave you directions. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. That's strange. You always carry your cell phone with you. Hey, Ken. Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? We were all expecting to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. Really? But I gave you directions. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. That's strange. You always carry your cell phone with you. Hey, Ken. Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? We were all expecting to see you there. We were all expecting to see you there. We were all expecting to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. Really? 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 But I gave you directions. But I gave you directions. But I gave you directions. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone?
Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. That's strange. That's strange. That's strange. You always carry your cell phone with you. You always carry your cell phone with you. You always carry your cell phone with you. Listen and practice. Hey, Ken. Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? We were all expecting to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. Really? But I gave you directions. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. That's strange. You always carry your cell phone with you. Hey, Ken. Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? We were all expecting to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. Really? But I gave you directions. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. That's strange. You always carry your cell phone with you. Hey, Ken. Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? We were all expecting to see you there. We were all expecting to see you there. We were all expecting to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. I got lost trying to find Alex's house.
I got lost trying to find Alex's house. Really? 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 But I gave you directions. But I gave you directions. But I gave you directions. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. That's strange. That's strange. That's strange. You always carry your cell phone with you. You always carry your cell phone with you. You always carry your cell phone with you. Five. Listen and practice. What is your hobby? I like playing sports, especially swimming. Is your hobby common in your country? Yes, kids, adults, and senior citizens all like swimming in my country. Is your hobby the same as when you were a child? Yes, I was fond of swimming when I was a little girl. When did you start practicing that hobby? I started swimming when I was five years old. Is there anybody in your family who you share your hobby with? My dad, he taught me how to swim. How much time do you spend on your hobby? I usually go to the swimming pool twice a week. What benefits do you get from it? Swimming is a really good workout. It helps me keep fit and chill out after a long day working. Have you ever heard of someone having a very unusual hobby? Yes, my cousin loves tattooing vehicles. He puts stickers everywhere on his car. What do you think about someone having weird hobbies? I don't think any hobby is weird. It's just what you like to do, so I don't judge others. What hobbies are usually expensive in your country? 
Playing golf is a really expensive hobby. Only the rich can afford to buy golf supplies. Listen and practice. What is your hobby? What is your hobby? What is your hobby? I like playing sports, especially swimming. I like playing sports, especially swimming. I like playing sports, especially swimming. Is your hobby common in your country? Is your hobby common in your country? Is your hobby common in your country? Yes, kids, adults, and senior citizens all like swimming in my country. Yes. Kids, adults, and senior citizens all like swimming in my country. Yes, kids, adults, and senior citizens all like swimming in my country. Is your hobby the same as when you were a child? Is your hobby the same as when you were a child? Is your hobby the same as when you were a child? Yes, I was fond of swimming when I was a little girl. Yes, I was fond of swimming when I was a little girl. Yes, I was fond of swimming when I was a little girl. When did you start practicing that hobby? When did you start practicing that hobby? When did you start practicing that hobby? I started swimming when I was five years old. I started swimming when I was five years old. I started swimming when I was five years old. Is there anybody in your family who you share your hobby with? Is there anybody in your family who you share your hobby with? Is there anybody in your family who you share your hobby with? My dad, he taught me how to swim. My dad, he taught me how to swim. My dad, he taught me how to swim. How much time do you spend on your hobby? How much time do you spend on your hobby? How much time do you spend on your hobby? I usually go to the swimming pool twice a week.
I usually go to the swimming pool twice a week. I usually go to the swimming pool twice a week. What benefits do you get from it? What benefits do you get from it? What benefits do you get from it? Swimming is a really good workout. Swimming is a really good workout. Swimming is a really good workout. It helps me keep fit and chill out after a long day working. It helps me keep fit and chill out after a long day working. It helps me keep fit and chill out after a long day working. Have you ever heard of someone having a very unusual hobby? Have you ever heard of someone having a very unusual hobby? Have you ever heard of someone having a very unusual hobby? Yes, my cousin loves tattooing vehicles. Yes, my cousin loves tattooing vehicles. Yes, my cousin loves tattooing vehicles. He puts stickers everywhere on his car. He puts stickers everywhere on his car. He puts stickers everywhere on his car. What do you think about someone having weird hobbies? What do you think about someone having weird hobbies? What do you think about someone having weird hobbies? I don't think any hobby is weird. I don't think any hobby is weird. I don't think any hobby is weird. It's just what you like to do, so I don't judge others. It's just what you like to do, so I don't judge others. It's just what you like to do, so I don't judge others. What hobbies are usually expensive in your country? What hobbies are usually expensive in your country? What hobbies are usually expensive in your country? Playing golf is a really expensive hobby. Playing golf is a really expensive hobby. Playing golf is a really expensive hobby. Only the rich can afford to buy golf supplies. Only the rich can afford to buy golf supplies. Only the rich can afford to buy golf supplies. 
Listen and practice. What is your hobby? I like playing sports, especially swimming. Is your hobby common in your country? Yes. Kids, adults, and senior citizens all like swimming in my country. Is your hobby the same as when you were a child? Yes. I was fond of swimming when I was a little girl. When did you start practicing that hobby? I started swimming when I was five years old. Is there anybody in your family who you share your hobby with? My dad, he taught me how to swim. How much time do you spend on your hobby? I usually go to the swimming pool twice a week. What benefits do you get from it? Swimming is a really good workout. It helps me keep fit and chill out after a long day working. Have you ever heard of someone having a very unusual hobby? Yes, my cousin loves tattooing vehicles. He puts stickers everywhere on his car. What do you think about someone having weird hobbies? I don't think any hobby is weird. It's just what you like to do, so I don't judge others. What hobbies are usually expensive in your country? Playing golf is a really expensive hobby. Only the rich can afford to buy golf supplies. Six. Listen and practice. What is your desired job? Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Is that a demanding job? Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. What challenge do you have when doing that job? I have some problems with classroom management. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Why do you choose that job? I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Does the job have something to do with your major at university? Sure. I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. The major does support me a lot in my career path. What does the society think about your job? I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher, an honor job. Do you make much money with that job? Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. Listen. And practice. What is your desired job? What is your desired job? What is your desired job? Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Is that a demanding job? Is that a demanding job?
Is that a demanding job? Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. What challenge do you have when doing that job? What challenge do you have when doing that job? What challenge do you have when doing that job? I have some problems with classroom management. I have some problems with classroom management. I have some problems with classroom management. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Is it hard to make your dream come true? Is it hard to make your dream come true? Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Why do you choose that job? Why do you choose that job? Why do you choose that job? I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Does the job have something to do with your major at university?
Does the job have something to do with your major at university? Does the job have something to do with your major at university? Sure. I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. Sure. I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. Sure. I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. The major does support me a lot in my career path. The major does support me a lot in my career path. The major does support me a lot in my career path. What does the society think about your job? What does the society think about your job? What does the society think about your job? I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher and honor job. I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher and honor job. I'm not quite sure. But I'm proud to be a teacher and honor job. Do you make much money with that job? Do you make much money with that job? Do you make much money with that job? Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? Have you ever thought of leaving your job? Have you ever thought of leaving your job? I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. Listen and practice. What is your desired job? Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Is that a demanding job? Yes, I think so. Although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. What challenge do you have when doing that job? I have some problems with classroom management. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Why do you choose that job? I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Does the job have something to do with your major at university? 
Sure, I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. The major does support me a lot in my career path. What does the society think about your job? I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher. An honor job. Do you make much money with that job? Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. Seven. Listen and practice. Do you usually talk on the phone? Yes, I do. It's a good way to keep in touch. What was your favorite phone conversation? It was when I talked to my interviewer. He did give me the good news that I got the job. When did you have the conversation? I don't remember exactly, but it's been two years so far, I guess. Who did you talk to? I talked to the owner of the restaurant where I'm working as a cashier. What did you talk about? He offered me the position and congratulated me. Why did you find the conversation interesting? Actually, it was more exciting than interesting. I was waiting for it for so long, and finally, he did make it come true. Do you prefer talking directly or talking on the phone? Personally, talking directly is much better to me since it's more lively and authentic. Who do you usually talk to on the phone? I talk to my mom almost every day. I will be missing the conversation every evening with mom if one day she stops calling me. What are the differences between talking directly and phoning? Well, talking directly seems more exciting since you can see facial expressions and eye contact. While talking on the phone, you can only listen to the voice. Listen and practice. One. Do you usually talk on the phone? Do you usually talk on the phone? Do you usually talk on the phone? Yes, I do. It's a good way to keep in touch. Yes, I do. It's a good way to keep in touch. Yes, I do. It's a good way to keep in touch. Two. What was your favorite phone conversation? What was your favorite phone conversation? What was your favorite phone conversation? It was when I talked to my interviewer. It was when I talked to my interviewer. It was when I talked to my interviewer. He did give me the good news that I got the job. He did give me the good news that I got the job. He did give me the good news that I got the job. Three. When did you have the conversation? When did you have the conversation? When did you have the conversation?
I don't remember exactly, but it's been two years so far, I guess. I don't remember exactly, but it's been two years so far, I guess. I don't remember exactly, but it's been two years so far, I guess. Four. Who did you talk to? Who did you talk to? Who did you talk to? I talked to the owner of the restaurant where I'm working as a cashier. I talked to the owner of the restaurant where I'm working as a cashier. I talked to the owner of the restaurant where I'm working as a cashier. Five. What did you talk about? What did you talk about? What did you talk about? He offered me the position and congratulated me. He offered me the position and congratulated me. He offered me the position and congratulated me. Six. Why did you find the conversation interesting? Why did you find the conversation interesting? Why did you find the conversation interesting? Actually, it was more exciting than interesting. Actually, it was more exciting than interesting. Actually, it was more exciting than interesting. I was waiting for it for so long, and finally, he did make it come true. I was waiting for it for so long, and finally, he did make it come true. I was waiting for it for so long, and finally, he did make it come true. Seven. Do you prefer talking directly or talking on the phone? Do you prefer talking directly or talking on the phone? Do you prefer talking directly or talking on the phone? Personally, talking directly is much better to me since it's more lively and authentic. Personally, talking directly is much better to me since it's more lively and authentic. Personally, talking directly is much better to me since it's more lively and authentic.
Eight. Who do you usually talk to on the phone? Who do you usually talk to on the phone? Who do you usually talk to on the phone? I talk to my mom almost every day. I talk to my mom almost every day. I talk to my mom almost every day. I will be missing the conversation every evening with mom if one day she stops calling me. I will be missing the conversation every evening with mom if one day she stops calling me. I will be missing the conversation every evening with mom if one day she stops calling me. Eight. What are the differences between talking directly and phoning? What are the differences between talking directly and phoning? What are the differences between talking directly and phoning? Well, talking directly seems more exciting since you can see facial expressions and eye contact. Well, talking directly seems more exciting since you can see facial expressions and eye contact. Well, talking directly seems more exciting since you can see facial expressions and eye contact. While talking on the phone, you can only listen to the voice. While talking on the phone, you can only listen to the voice. While talking on the phone, you can only listen to the voice. Listen and practice. Do you usually talk on the phone? Yes, I do. It's a good way to keep in touch. What was your favorite phone conversation? It was when I talked to my interviewer. He did give me the good news that I got the job. When did you have the conversation? I don't remember exactly, but it's been two years so far, I guess. Who did you talk to? I talked to the owner of the restaurant where I'm working as a cashier. What did you talk about? He offered me the position and congratulated me. Why did you find the conversation interesting? Actually, it was more exciting than interesting. I was waiting for it for so long, and finally, he did make it come true. Do you prefer talking directly or talking on the phone? Personally, talking directly is much better to me since it's more lively and authentic. Who do you usually talk to on the phone? I talk to my mom almost every day. I will be missing the conversation every evening with mom if one day she stops calling me. What are the differences between talking directly and phoning? Well, talking directly seems more exciting since you can see facial expressions and eye contact. While talking on the phone, you can only listen to the voice.